Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. For today's recipe, we're making chilaquiles in red guajillo sauce. We're gonna start off by roasting three guajillo peppers, three chiles de arbol, and two Roma tomatoes cut in half. Once your peppers are nice and fragrant and your tomatoes are lightly withered, remove them from the burner and once they completely cool down, transfer them to the blender. Along with two garlic cloves, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of tomato or regular chicken bouillon. Blend on high for a good minute or two or until it's nice and smooth and set aside. Using your knife, your hands, or a pair of kitchen scissors, tear 12 to 15 tortillas into fourths. I like to use the tortillas that are thinner. The Arizona brand works great when making chilaquiles. Heat up a good amount of vegetable oil or olive oil over medium heat. Once your oil is nice and hot, add a little bit of the tortillas. When frying the tortillas, you want to fry them a little bit at a time. That way you can tend to them a lot easier and they don't burn. During the process, you want to flip them over often until they're nice and crispy. Once they're nice and crispy, remove them and transfer them to a bowl and continue with the rest of the tortillas until you're all done. Once you're done frying your tortillas using the same pan, add the sauce from the blender. Add an additional cup of water to the blender to get the remainder of the sauce that's stuck to the blade and the side of the blender. Add it to the pan. Add half a teaspoon of cumin. Move it around until it's completely combined with the sauce. At this point, you can also taste it to see if it needs any additional seasoning. Simmer on medium heat for about five to 10 minutes. Once it has a light thickness, add the tortillas back into the pan. Turn off the burner. Move the tortillas around until they're completely submerged in the sauce. Enjoy them with a side of rice, beans, or a pair of sunny side up eggs. Top them off with your favorite toppings. We're gonna use a little bit of cilantro, queso cotija, and crema mexicana from Los Altos. A few slices of avocado, red onion, and of course, your egg. Any which way you prefer it. And you can also use a few slices of radishes. And enjoy! Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And if you're new to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you can receive notifications each time we upload a new video. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.